Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the MCU update on your unit. So first you're gonna need is a USB thumb drive. Now this is a 64 gigabyte thumb drive. And what we need to do is make sure that this is a FAT32 format. To check the format on a thumb drive, you're gonna put it in your laptop or computer. And when it pops up here, you can see we're on drive E. If I go to this PC, that's my thumb drive. I right click, press properties. Inside we'll have the file system, and right now it's EXFAT. If your USB thumb drive is less than 32 gigabytes capacity, you can actually right click it, press format, and here in the settings you'll have file system. You'll choose that option, press quick format, and press start. If you have more than 32 gigabytes, you're going to go to the Dropbox link in the description below, and that link is going to take you to this Dropbox location to download a program that can format your drive to FAT32. So here it is. We're gonna do a direct download. It's gonna go right into my downloads folder. Now you can see it says GUI format uh, parentheses one exe. That means I already downloaded it before. So if I do show in folder, you can see I downloaded it twice. So we'll delete this one and we'll double click the GUI format. So now I need to log in, just a second. All right, after I log in, this is the program right here. You can see I have two drives, C and E, on my computer. If I go to this PC, the drive letter for my USB thumb drive is E. I'm gonna choose E on the program and do a quick format to uh, FAT32. Let's start. Once I press start, do I wanna lose everything? Yes. Uh, process cannot start being used by another process. Let's close this and start again. Okay, um, let's try to open it. It's saying that it's in use, but it is not in use. Now that the USB is in the correct format, what we're going to do is go to the Dropbox link that was provided where it has the zip file, and that zip file will have our MCU update um, file. So this is the Dropbox link. It's gonna look like this. You can see that it's .zip, and it's a compressed file. We're gonna go to the arrow, direct download. It'll show right here. This is the file right here. Now I made a separate folder in my desktop called MCU update. Let's look for that right here. You can see I already done it, but we'll delete these and we'll take the one from that we just downloaded, drag it over to this folder. And because we have, we have to uncompress this file. Now I recommend using the uh, program 7-zip. So if you type in 7-zip, uh, you can see that there's a free program right here, depending on what you have, 64 or 32-bit. 32-bit uh, works with both computers, but if you have 64-bit, try it out. Use this file if you can't have, if your computer doesn't have a uncompressor. So we'll go back to MCU update and do the extract. So you can see 7-zip extract here, and this is the folder right here. So we only want what's inside the folder. We'll double click the folder and there you see the mcu underscore d-a-p-i-n dot bin file. Now what we're gonna do now is put it in this thumb drive. So now that this is FAT32, it's gonna pop up. Uh, you can see I already had a previous one here but we'll delete this one. Yes. And we'll drag this fold file into our USB. After you drag it into the USB, you should be set. Again, double check that your USB is FAT32 format, and it is. So let's move on to the unit. Okay, so now that you have the mcu.update file in your thumb drive, you're gonna put it in your unit. And then uh, after you put it in your unit, it should start blinking. If it doesn't, uh, we'll check if the USB is inside. Just go to File Manager. At the top area here, there's File Manager. Press the three lines at the top left. 
uh, this will come up. Then you can scroll all the way down to uh, USB storage. That should be your USB. Uh, use it by default. Okay. USB storage. Now you can do. You could do a uh, USB two zero zero three right there. Press USB storage, and you could see that the file is right there. Now we don't need to do anything here. We just want to make sure that the USB is being read by the unit. So go into uh, settings and then system info and then here you're going to press MCU upgrade. After you press that uh, it should come up with a progress bar. If it doesn't come up with a progress bar what you're going to do is probably it's not reading the USB enough yet so could just come back to it and keep coming back and pressing MCU upgrade. So we're going to go back into settings, system info uh, let's try to go somewhere else then back to system info press MCU upgrade and a progress bar should show up because it reads it from the USB file. It'll read MCU underscore DAPIN dot bin. So for sure it's being read. For sure the USB is being read by the unit. We just need it to recognize it when we press the MCU upgrade. So let's try. Let's come back to it and you'll see it have the progress bar. <laughs> There you go. Alright, so now that it's doing MCU upgrade, you're going to have this progress bar go all the way. Um, what you can try to do is also try to change the location of the USB to the other USB port. So if the first one's not working, switch to the other one. And then after the update, it should be good. Now if you're on a Silverado, you're going to change it in advanced settings and go to parameter 7 so that your middle screen is good. On other units like the Tundra, uh, once you do the MCU update, you should be good. So now that this updates, uh, you're all set. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys.